Okay, so let me start this off by putting a disclaimer out there. WordPress is a great platform. It gave me the ability to build websites when I didn't have any coding experience. I've used the platform since I was about 13, and while it's not perfect, it is a great platform. Now, you've obviously read the title, and while I'm not completely done using WordPress, I have switched my focus over to Webflow for new website builds. And here's the reason why. Really briefly, let me give you a quick background of page speed. Page speed is the time it takes for a website to load. If you have a slow page speed, your user experience is gonna go down. If users have to wait more than a few seconds for your website to load, they're gonna leave and find a website that does load quickly. Now, there's some debate on whether or not page speed affects your website's visibility on search engines. In my opinion, I don't think it's a huge ranking factor, but I absolutely do think page speed directly affects your search engine optimization. Google has been warning publishers of this for years, saying to get your website sped up. Well, it sounds like there are gonna be some more changes coming soon to make page speed an even bigger factor in the search results. But no matter what, if you believe PageSpeed affects your SEO or not, you have to agree. It affects your user experience in a negative way, and that should be enough to get us to speed up our websites. This brings us back to WordPress. While WordPress has so many great benefits, the one negative, and it's a big one, is that WordPress is notoriously known to have slow page speed. And yes, it absolutely depends on the type of website. I'm not suggesting that you can't have a quick page speed with WordPress. But what I am suggesting is that WordPress makes it incredibly difficult to have a quick page speed with heavy websites. And by heavy websites, I just mean websites with lots of images, videos, and graphic styling. So the two general scenarios for WordPress are as follows. You can use WordPress templates that look decent and have semi-quick page speed, but usually aren't very customizable. And then you can also use page builders like Elementor or Divi to build the site. But the issue with these builders is that they come with a lot of code that bogs down the website. Another factor is third-party plugins, but we're not, we're not even gonna get into that right now. So now you're left to deciding whether you wanna have a quick website or if you wanna have a fully customizable website. And again, I wanna be very, very clear. There are some web development, web design, and SEO companies that are very, very good at optimizing WordPress website for page speed. However, the vast majority of them are not. In fact, I think it's a rarity. Brian Dean over at Backlinko recently released a study looking at page speed, and not surprisingly, he found that WordPress ranked near the bottom of all the site builders he looked at. Now, I mentioned that I'm using Webflow now. I'm not suggesting that Webflow is the only solution, nor am I suggesting that it's gonna bring your page speed score to 100 out of 100. In fact, my website still isn't there. However, I can say with confidence that my website is now blazing fast with Webflow, whereas it was borderline at best with WordPress. And I've had years of experience optimizing WordPress websites for page speed. And WordPress has had years to optimize their system for page speed, yet we haven't seen much, if any, improvement. And now that users are expecting more images, graphics, animations, and videos on their websites, the websites are gonna get slower, not faster, which means either the system, the content management system has to change, or we have to find a different system entirely. And that's the decision I've made. So what am I trying to get at? How do you know if you need to stop using WordPress? Here are some key takeaways for you. Number one, use the eye test. Clear your cache, go to your website and play around. Does it seem laggy? Are the pages loading fast? Or are they taking a while? Do the images and videos take a while to load? Sometimes the eye test is the best way to go. You can also get a different opinion on it. Just ask one of your friends or find some random people off the street to test out your website. Ask them what they think of the page speed. Do they get impatient while waiting for the site to load? Ask if they've had better or worse experiences or if they even noticed a difference. Compare your website to your competitors. Each industry might be a little different. Search on Google for your competitors and see if their website loads faster or slower than your website. You can also use tools like Google PageSpeed Insights or GT Metrics to test out your website. The tools aren't perfect, but they give you a good idea of your page speed. Also, your desktop score is almost always gonna be faster than mobile, so be sure to check mobile since more users are using phones these days to search online. If you have a web developer, web agency, or SEO consultant, be sure to ask them what they're doing to optimize your website for page speed. Make sure it's a priority for 2020 and beyond. Again, if your website doesn't load quickly, users will leave your website and find another one that does load quickly. Also, it can affect your SEO, but that's my take. Again, if you use WordPress, I'm not bashing you. I still use WordPress on some projects, but just consider the ramifications before you proceed. Have a great day.